Good morning. My name is Caroline Owens, and I'm from Owens Farm in Sunbury, Pennsylvania. I'm here today at the Susquehanna University Solar Array in Sealands Grove, Pennsylvania. My sheep manage the vegetation on this 14-acre, 3-megawatt site. Instead of frequent mowings and herbicide use, the university uses sheep for eco-friendly weed control. But how does this actually work? What goes on behind the scenes to enable these sheep to do their job? Or to look at it a different way, if you are a solar site manager and you hire a shepherd and her flock, what management tasks and expertise are you bringing onto your team? Well, let's take a look at that. We'll start in the winter when the sheep would be at the home farm, because there's no need for vegetation management until spring. The flock spends winter at the home farm, feeding on free choice hay. As spring approaches, preparations begin for moving the sheep out to the solar array. The first step is to bring the entire flock into the handling system. Then carefully select the subset which will go to the solar field. The sheep are treated for internal parasites, an ever-present challenge in small ruminants. Their hooves are trimmed, a twice-a-year procedure, performed with specialized equipment. Then the sheep are progressively transitioned to pasture. After a winter diet of dry hay, their digestive system needs to acclimate back to green grass. The sheep are also trained to follow a bucket of grain. This will be their cue to move from one grazing area to the next. Dogs can also be used, depending on the layout of the solar array and the skill of the dog. At the same time, they are reminded how to stay behind electric fence. Even though the solar array is surrounded by permanent wire fence, the sheep grazing will be managed with portable electric subdivisions. Meanwhile, other preparations are underway at the solar field. The internal fences are set up before the sheep arrive and electrified with an independent solar charger. The water tubs are rigged with float valves to ensure a continuous supply of fresh water. Free choice salt is offered in one weatherproof feeder and a mineral mix in another. The sheep will consume precisely the amount needed to balance their diet. Finally, it's time to load the sheep in the trailer and drive them to the site. For the rest of the season, the sheep will be checked on a regular basis and moved to fresh grass as needed. Known as rotational grazing, this practice means the flock will not be turned out on the entire solar field all at once. Instead, they will graze one section at a time, then move to the next while the first one regrows. This pulse system of grazing and recovery ensures healthy plants and well-fed sheep. So a lot of the grazing planning takes place actually behind the scenes in the office, not at the field. We have the solar array divided into subsections, so we record when the sheep move into a section, when they move out. The idea is that we can predict when the flock is going to return to the first section, and we want it to have had enough of a rest period that the grass is ready to graze, but not too long. If it goes too long, it gets seed heads and it gets tall and less nutritious and, and less palatable to the sheep. So there's, a, there's an ideal time frame. So that tells us in advance if we need to slow down the flock movement or we'll increase it, or we'll even bring in some more animals who take them out. So this is part of the art and science of grazing. It's kind of like playing chess, but all the pieces are moving independently and playing by their own rules. Sheep are uniquely suited to control vegetation at solar panels. Fitting easily under the leading edge, they spread out and spend all day eating the vegetation that would otherwise grow high enough to interfere with solar panel efficiency. They even nibble weeds growing around posts and control panels that would be tricky to mow or string trim. Other unforeseen biological benefits are taking place within the soil. Hoof action stimulates plant growth and provides soil contact for newly emerging seeds. 
the sheep deposit manure as they graze, evenly fertilizing the entire area and supporting soil health. In return, the solar array provides an ideal environment for the sheep. They find shade and shelter under the panels. The external fencing deters predation, and plants are sheep's perfect natural diet. Even neighbors enjoy the sight of the contented flock in sync with nature. Sheep and solar arrays, it's a win-win for everyone. If you are a solo developer thinking about using sheep, here are a couple of thoughts to smooth the way. First, lead time. Lead time, lead time, lead time. Give your shepherd as much time as possible before the grazing needs to begin. She'll have to produce or purchase sheep for your site, plan her infrastructure, and plan out her labor requirements. Second, involve your shepherd in the planning process. With her livestock experience, she can provide input on topics such as trailer access, water access, seed mixes, external fencing and predator proofing, and sheep handling equipment. So this has been Caroline Owens from Owens Farm in Sunbury, Pennsylvania, signing off. We'd be happy to answer your questions about solar grazing. Our contact information appears on the screen now. And also, there is the website of the American Solar Grazing Association, which is a wealth of information on this topic.